Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best subwoofers in the market for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see the price and find out more information about these subwoofers, you can check out the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Polk Audio PSW505. The Polk Audio PSW505 is a great subwoofer which is packed with features and it comes with an affordable price tag. It has a very good looking design with a solid real wood covering finish gorgeously stained in black. The front features a curved cloth grille with a large oval for the subwoofer and controls on the back are plentiful with tunable low pass crossover, phase switch, volume control and an attached power cable. This unit is equipped with a 12 inch long throw woofer capable of up to 300 watts of continuous power and unfiltered LFE input with low pass filtered subwoofer output jacks. Moreover, for your own safety, this model is equipped with a magnet shield which makes the placement next to any other electronic equipment possible so you don't have to worry about having unfortunate accidents which usually don't happen too often. It also features Polk's Audio Innovative Dynamic Balance Woofer which is the design that helps tune out any unwanted resonance. When it comes to the sound produced, Polk Audio PSW505 is just awesome. Its load venting design allows all the pressure to be easily released out of the chassis while reducing any turbulence and delivers a much tighter response. The base is very tight and clear giving the illusion that there is more low end overall. This is great when you're watching movies or listening to your favourite music because you'll notice the bass detail very accurately. Lows are rich and full bodied at all volumes and they never produce any distortion, sound very sharp and huge. Overall the Polk Audio PSW505 is a great addition that suits any home entertainment system no matter the size of the room. The high quality design lets you know right from the start that you have a great unit on your hands and it'll be durable for a long period of time accompanied by beautiful sound. So you don't have to go to your local cinema to be able to watch movies with amazing sound because with this subwoofer you can get great sound inside your house at an affordable price. At number 4 it's the Klipsch Sub 12HG. The Sub 12HG subwoofer delivers something that most woofers out there are not capable of such as the two lowest octaves of the 10 that human ears can hear. This company is known as a manufacturer of incredibly high quality audio devices and this product is one of their best. It features line level and speaker level inputs for compatibility accompanied by a 12 inch woofer that gives deep and rich bass tones. It also has a 300 watt bash amplifier for wall shaking experience, 650 watts of dynamic power, an automatic on and off or standby mode for efficient usage of the energy and of course 12 inch fibre composite cone that eliminates the issues connected with buzzing. That's not all, there are also line level and LFE RCA inputs included to ensure compatibility with old and new receivers. This subwoofer is finished in matte black with small clips branding at the bottom of the front side while the back features the usual suspects including a speaker, inputs, outputs, volume with low pass knobs, RCA line in and attachable power cable. It has a blue and red dual colour LED display on the front so you'll know when the unit is on or in standby mode. The Sub 12 HD is a real star when it comes to producing quality sound. It'll shake your house and take over your entire setup even if it's not maxed out. With one word, it's a killer. In addition to its ability to play loud and go deeper than anything else in its class, it wraps technical superiority and eye-catching cosmetics into one affordable package and perfectly anchors a home theatre or two-channel system. The subwoofer's built-in low-pass crossover can be continuously adjustable from 40 to 120 Hz and its bass is very clear and tight at lower volumes. Overall this subwoofer delivers some of the best performance you'll find at this price range no matter if you want to listen to loud music, play a game or watch a movie. It has enough power to deliver deep and yet accurate bass and you'll be able to hear every detail of the audio. It's very affordable too, so all these features combined with a sleek design should be more than enough to put the subwoofer into your buying list. At number 3 it's the Sonos Sub. Sonos is reasonably the best known maker of multi-room audio kits 
and in recent years, it's done its best to contend with a new audience, one that doesn't want to pay a fortune. Sonos has always had its concentration on the lifestyle angle. After all, multi-room audio is essentially a lifestyle thing. When it comes to design, this unit is finished in nine layers of flawless glossy paint and a stylish-looking silver cutout in the middle. It could live a sound life as a contemporary take on an Art Deco stool. The Saab will work wirelessly with any Sonos speaker, Sonos amp or Connect amp, so you can add it to a music system or one aimed more at home theatre. A press of the button on the front connects it to your existing Sonos network and setup is pleasantly Sonos simple. Moving on, the cutout in the middle is where you find the two drivers. This is also a part of the reason why the Sonos Sub can stay so slim, because these drivers are not precisely round, but stretched out vertically. But now, let's talk about performance. When it comes to how this unit performs better, we tested it with a pair of Play 3 boxes, which use a pair of 3-inch main drivers, which are too small to be able to create thunderous bass at high volume. A pair of them is enough to make quite a musical racket, but as satisfying as they are in tandem, the Play 3 sounded relatively thin once the sub was disengaged, as well as strained at high volumes. At first, the bass of the subwoofer may seem a tad too much at the default volume, but as you have quick and easy control over the gain level, tailoring it to your own preferences only takes a few seconds. Moreover, Sonos Sub is easy to get up and running, sounds good, and it'll definitely improve your system and elevate your hearing experience to a whole new level. To conclude, if you're looking for a wireless subwoofer which looks and performs premium, then we definitely recommend you consider this one, because we assure you, you won't regret your decision. At number 2, it's the ELAC Debut 2.0 Sub 3030. The 3030 subwoofer from ELAC Debut 2.0 Sub Series was designed and built to output incredible sound for an affordable price while fitting in almost any part of your room. Design-wise, this particular model boasts an attractive wooden construction which is textured with a light grey colour. Meanwhile, at the bottom centre, there's an ELAC logo which gives a great look to the overall aesthetics. This unit has bridged amplifier switching hybrid amplifiers that combine the sound quality of a Class AB with the efficiency of Class D amplifiers. The Debut 2.0 3030 subwoofer delivers a powerful 1000 watt of bash amplifier power to a massive 12-inch driver augmented by a 12-inch passive radiator for bass that truly shakes the foundations. In the meanwhile, advanced Bluetooth control and auto EQ will let you operate this no-compromise subwoofer from your smartphone. In addition, Bash uses a modulated switch mode power supply that tracks the input signal, supplying only the necessary voltage to the Class AV amp as needed. Moreover, the latest Bash technology has gone through three core evolutions and is further refined in these latest ELAC debut subwoofers. Another great thing I'd like to mention about this product is the custom long throw drivers which provide bass that is fundamental to accurately reproducing today's demanding music and movie soundtracks. Every ELAC debut subwoofer is engineered for the long run, with thick MDC outer walls and a luxurious texture vinyl finish. A horizontal center brace that strengthens and stiffens the cabinet also helps minimize unwanted vibrations that can discolor music or movie content. Low frequencies are reproduced with precision without overhand or distortion. Furthermore, the subwoofer will detect when an audio signal is being sent to the amplifier and will power on, which is auto-detected. Also, to conserve energy, the subwoofer will power off after a long period of inactivity. Moreover, as you can see, the Debut 2.0 series is really well thought out. Not only the speaker design themselves, but everything from the product assortment to the model numbers is simple and easy to understand. Overall, ELAC Sub 3030 Debut 2.0 definitely deserves your attention, and if you're looking for something similar, we unquestionably recommend you consider this unit. At number 1, it's the SVS PB16 Ultra 1500. When it comes to big sub, big sound, the PB16 Ultra is a beast and the one that you're looking for. Bringing high-end performance and appropriate size and weight, let's quickly look into this product to see what's so special about it. Design-wise, at £17, the PB Ultra is built to produce strong bass levels with no cabinet vibrations. Three ports sit below the massive 16-inch driver and on top is an angled LED display and control panel. When you first take it out of the box, 
The PV16 Ultra shines with its glossy piano black finish. The heftiness aside, unpacking and setting up was pretty easy, as SVS has taken a lot of care in packaging. You'll be able to control the sub via remote or phone app, which is cool and was the best thing I enjoyed while using this subwoofer, because having the control in your hands on the couch makes everything easier. It also means you can easily play with different sound modes like music, movies or custom setups from your optimal seating position, and maybe hear and judge what sounds the best. However, like the SP16 Ultra, the PV16 Ultra has a few features that are most easily accessed via the phone app such as control volume, crossover, phase, room gain, and a three-band parametric EQ. The EQ allows for adjustments of frequency, boost, and Q factor, so as you can see, you'll be well supplied with everything you need. When it comes to performance, to explain how powerful the subwoofer can be, you can literally host a photo shoot with the PB16's ports blowing a supermodel's hair in the wind from the amount of air the high-extension 16-inch driver can move. That amount of low-frequency energy will shake your entire house, so anything that can produce noise from vibration will. In addition, the final bass frequency in that opening must be somewhere around 15 Hz, assuredly not much higher, and personally I've never heard a sub reach it until the PV16 Ultra. Moreover, PV16 Ultra is a monster of a sub, both in terms of looks and performance, and if you have the room for it, you should definitely equip yourself with this unit. To conclude, if you're looking to reproduce the lowest subsonic octaves, then the PB16 Ultra is your choice. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.